Hello everybody, it's Karen here. Um, just before we get going, I just want to say to you, I'm no longer Vintage Style Journals. So I've changed my business name to Journal Art Papery. And my name is a little bit, you might think I'm a bit nuts and I probably am, but um, I'm sure that you've all heard about the Karen thing. I've decided to use my grandmother's name, Violet, in the future. So it's no longer Karen from Vintage Style Journals. It's actually Violet from Journal Art Papery. Um, I do have a website, uh, journalartpapery.com. Um, you might want to go and have a look at it. and um, That'd be good. You can see some of the other things that I create and um, put together for sale but I wanted just to show you what I've been up to yesterday while I was watching some wonderful uh, crafty videos from all you wonderful journal creators and and uh, while I was watching and listening I was making my own <laughs> stuff here and you can see I had quite a day um, with all of these things here um, they may look like wax seals, but they're actually not. They're, they're wax and glue seals. And um, as you can see, I've, I've made quite a few of them in the different colours. And I've placed a little bit of um, lavender in each, uh, or some of them, not all of them. But um, I just thought I'd, I'd let you know that you can actually do this in quite a conservative way in so far as your finances go. You don't have to spend an awful lot of money on these wax stamps, seals, um, uh, wax pellets, I suppose, here, um, which can be quite expensive. They used to be a lot cheaper before... Um, Australia had a little bit of strife with China, I think. It's kind of changed the price of a few things. But um, so rather than use uh, what I would normally use would be three or four, probably about four of these um, just to make one wax seal. But instead of doing that, what I've done is I've actually chopped up some glue sticks that were old sticks that have been sitting around in my house for oh my goodness I don't know years probably so what I did was I actually chopped up a few of these sticks here and instead of putting them in my glue gun I've actually put them in my wax burner uh, which is this little doodad here um, now you don't need one of these you can there are other ways that you can actually melt wax, but this is the way that I've found the best. So underneath here is a candle, voila, and the spoon that goes in there that holds the wax. So that's what I actually use. I found that the simplest way. Otherwise, I'd probably light the house on fire. And um, this beautiful seal here is made with my lovely favourite 3D roast stamp that my husband brought me a few years back for my birthday and it's my very favorite i love it and it just makes such an elegant beautiful 3d rose so uh, that's what i'll be using today as well as this one here which is a plain wax seal there's no engraving or anything on there and that's how i actually got the ability to just stamp on there and um and you've got no pattern apart from the flower that's on there. So what I thought I would do is just take you very quickly through some of the, the way that I've made this. The only downfall with using the glue, as far as I can tell, is that it takes a little bit longer to melt. So what I'm going to do, um, what I've done actually, um, just show you, I chop up the, the stick itself in half with the scissors and then I just chop it into thirds here uh, which, which I'll better do there so you can see it <laughs> just goes flying so that's what I use in the actual um, burner which is there and I'll put three of those in um, just just per wax uh, seal you don't have to use three probably get away with using two um, and instead of just using the the three or four wax pellets, just use the one pellet. Um, I think I'll, I'll go with white just to start with. So I'll move all of these out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing here. Just excuse me for a moment while I move those. 
and just bring this little doodad over here. Um, I also stir it with a, a toothpick. Uh, you may find something else to stir it with. Now, this is going to take a little time to melt. The glue, I've only just flicked the candle on, and so it hasn't heated up yet. So I will talk in the meantime. <laughs> but these wax, um, little wax pellets, you can get online. Um, they vary in price. So um, I've, I've kind of bought these over, over time, so I haven't bought them all at once. Um, but I do have a, a quite a large order coming, <laughs> so I'm I'm going to be doing a lot of these stamps, and I'm going to be giving them away in my uh, with my purchases. So I'll give one away. I tend to give some free stickers in a little hand painted envelope to everyone who buys something on my site. So I think I'll just add one of these along with it. And um, so, yeah, if you were to ever purchase anything from my shop, you'll probably find you'll get one of these. Um, they're not expensive to make. I think that's what I'm I'm getting at. Um, you can buy the, the glue gun sticks in a, a container like that. You can get, there's many varieties. There's 27 in this, and I think I paid maybe three or four bucks for it. So it's not overly expensive whereas if I purchased this many in the wax it would probably cost around $15 for that many so you're saving quite a bit of money by doing it this way and as you can see these gorgeous wax seals well glue wax seals <laughs> I don't know what we'll call them I suppose we'll call them glue wax seals they don't cost a lot of money to make and they come out just as beautiful that's a little bit of a transparent one because I've used uh, this this purple here to get that so I've used because my glue sticks are a little bit on the clear yellowish sort of tinge probably because they're old um, and as you can see you can get the white ones if you're using the white ones you're more likely to get a um, a more um, true color uh, but with the the purple and the yellow together this is actually <laughs> the color that came out which I thought was quite quite lovely it's got a little bit of a shine to it and what I've done is I've also just popped a little bit of gold rub over the top of that just to bring out the actual rose itself. Now, what I've discovered is that if you do these seals on um, on a tile, then they will uh, dry and, and um, cool down quite quickly. I don't actually have a tile. I'm just going to move those back bring my glue forward and some of my other bits and pieces so what i've what i'm what i've been doing as you'll notice with this one here i've put it on a little bit of um gauze or what do they call this stuff um cheesecloth so um if i were to put it straight onto the onto the um I've got some parchment paper here just so that it doesn't stick to my table. But if you were to put that straight onto a surface, it might curl up a little bit. But because it's grabbing a hold of some of the thread or the cheesecloth here, it's actually sat nice and straight. And so what I will do with this, um, I'll just move my lavender out of the way, my dried lavender off my bush. Um... What I'll do with this instead is to possibly pop it on something like when I make my journal cards or my um, journals, if I wanted to just enhance a page. This is just a little bit of lace scores. So it's a bit of trim that's left over from many of the things that I do. And so I would just pop that on there, gather that up a little bit under there. And that just makes a lovely little piece to go on a page or even a, a journal tag. And I don't have any journal tags at the moment to show you to put it on. But you can see what I mean. Just scrunch it up here. But it's already on that gorgeous um, coffee dyed gauze. And so sitting that just on the corner of a page or on a page somewhere will actually just make a beautiful embellishment to any page. Uh, you can put it on something like that you can put it on this is a vintage paper that i save um, so you can put it on something like that and just put it on on the page um, 
some lace, uh, like this gorgeous vintage lace here. Just sit it on there, chop off a piece here, and it'll just make a beautiful embellishment. Get another colour just so you can see. It'll go lovely with any colour because of the, the coffee dyed gauze that I've got underneath it. It'll go on any vintage look. And vintage is sort of my thing. I prefer uh, to work with uh, vintage hues. I'm not opposed to bright colours, but I tend to lean more towards things that are a little bit more on the vintage side. So without any further ado, what I'll do is just... I can see my glue is starting to melt and it's got one one wax pellet in there. So instead of, say, you know, just random, say four pellets per, per um, wax seal. I'm just looking for my little bit of gauze that I had here. <laughs> I've tossed it over somewhere. I'll cut off a new piece. I'm just about out of this stuff. I've got a whole pile of it, but I want a coffee dye it so that it has that gorgeous hue. Let's grab my scissors. And I'll make a few of these. I'll make a couple of different ones in different colours, just so that you can see. I'm just randomly chopping pieces of gauze here. Just work out how what size you want. And, and I'm only getting them ready just while this is melting. So I like to jump ahead a little bit. So you've yeah, just Put a few pits together now with the lavender now you don't have to put lavender in or any flower in for that matter you can just use another a wax seal stamp that has a pattern on it they'll look equally beautiful but i would highly recommend that you put them on a surface such as the gauze or some lace or some kind of paper even or material just so that it's got something to sit on when you make it so i'm just going to chop off a little bit of my lavender here uh, Maybe a couple of pieces, actually, we'll go stingy mingy and we'll cut a few of these little ones. Now, this is dried. I've had it sitting around for a little while, since last year. So I'll just chop a few, get them ready. Right, now I've put some a list of what you will need up on the website, uh, not on the website, on the, the front of this video so that you can see... At a glance, just some of the things you need, and you probably have most of them hanging around your house anyway. So I'm just going to turn that around so I can have control over the the wax. So I'm just stirring it in. The glue has melted nicely, but it does take a lot longer this way. So you have to be patient. It took me nearly all day making those other ones that I showed you earlier. And you can see that white has blended into the glue really quite beautifully. Uh, bear with me and even getting it out of out of this little um, container here can take a little bit of work and patience so just think about all those wonderful things that you're going to be using your lovely wax seal or glue seal glue wax seal whatever you want to call it so let's just put it over here onto the so I get it out with with the actual uh, toothpick now you might have some other implement that you want to use and you can see it's a little bit stretchy it's not as easy to get out as what the the actual wax is but I'll put it on here it could have been a little bit hotter actually uh, the hotter it is the uh, more likely it's going to slide out of the uh, spoon and I try to get all the wax off the edge before I put it back onto my container here because I make such a mess oh my goodness you should have seen what I did yesterday the glue and wax everywhere on this thing trying to clean it down was a bit of a trick okay so I'll put two here I'll get them ready for the next one and I'll make one of those lovely purple ones I'll just pop that in so there's two pieces of glue one piece of purple and I'm just going to use because I'm going to put the lavender in I'm going to use my flat um, seal and just pop it straight down on top okay it'll push the lavender in and it's going to look gorgeous when it comes out so when if you go ahead and try and do some of these um, I would recommend that you get yourself a tile uh, like a just a tile from Bunnings or hardware shop 
and do it on the tile surface because once it hits the tile, it'll go cold really quickly. Some people actually put their seals in ice or, you know, have them in a cold situation where the seal doesn't heat up so much so that you can actually do more quickly. Now it's been just a, you know, a few seconds here, so I'll see if it'll come off and it will. And there you go. How gorgeous is that? I love it. That's pretty with just the white. I'll see what it looks like with the, the purple. It'll take a minute, as I said. Uh, so, yeah, this one probably go on something like uh, this piece of material. So when I put it in one of my journals, I'll probably place it on top of one of those and just glue it onto, onto the page. That looks so elegant and beautiful. There you go. Too easy. Too bloomin' easy. I love it. Um, I might just do one straight on here and see what it looks like. So we'll just chop off a bit and just see what, what it looks like straight onto this instead of the gauze. I'm just waiting patiently for it to, to flick around now. Because I've got a little bit of white on my um, stick, I'm just going to put that in. It won't really matter. I'm going to stir that around a little bit more. I know you probably think I'm teaching you to suck eggs here. Many of you probably know how to do these, but I just thought it's such a a cheap way of getting a similar result for a wax seal. It just takes a little bit more work because um, you've got to be patient with trying to get this stuff out of the <laughs> out of this little bowl. But you see, with me stirring it, it's actually um, caused it to melt a little bit quicker because. Uh, stirring it around, moving it around helps it just to melt, catch the bottom of of the uh, flame there. And these little copper um, spoons hold the heat nicely. Well, it's very, very pale this one, probably because I had a tiny bit of white on the... Yeah, it's got a little tinge to it, so I think I like that. Might just try and get it out now. <laughs> I'll just move that over. So just very gently and patiently just spoon it out. As you can see, it won't flow as easily. Although I think some of the, the high or the quick melt glue um, will probably flow out a little bit easier than this. But anyway, see what you think. Give it a go. Not a difficult thing to do, although <laughs> watching me do it might, might make you think otherwise. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all well and um, you're not struggling with this awful COVID pandemic too much. I know that it's been impactful on many people and, you know, heart really goes out to those that have been suffering through loss. Um just making a bit of a, trying to get as much out as I can. In the meanwhile, I'm making a bit of a mess with it. So I'll pop that down and just try and just pull that off. Don't you love it when things go wrong? <laughs> Actually, it probably could have stayed in the heat a little bit longer. Get off. Okay. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to use the rose for this one and we'll just press it down. It's not too cold. I've got time to play with it. Even though it took a little while to get it on there, it's actually okay because I think if it's really too hot, then quite often you won't get the, the beautiful design that you want to get from your wax seal stamp. Uh, what other colour shall we go for? I'll try this on the purple one here. Yeah, just put them in there. Hopefully they'll start to melt quickly. Yeah, I'll just finish off with this one because I don't want to bore you to the back teeth. I think that this is enough. But yeah, I think just giving you a few ideas as to how you can uh, get away with a conservative wax seal. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. 
I'll just see if this will come off. There we go. That's really pretty. Can turn out to be like a, a beautiful coffee, very pale latte sort of colour. Um, I'm not sure that I prefer it on the material itself, but when I finally use this, what I'll do is I'll probably put it down on some lace as well, just so that we've got a little bit of layering going on. Um, that wouldn't look too badly, but I'd rub over the top of that. Now, I use this one here for that, and it kind of makes your finger a little bit gold. Now, that's why it's called gold finger, I suppose. But um, I'll just put a little bit on the thing, and then just, just lightly go over it, really. It's as easy as that. You don't have to rub it back or anything like that. It's just really to bring out the design of the rose a little bit more to make that pop. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Very pretty. Okay, so I'll add that to the collection. I'll just do this one more. Um, I use baby wipes to get that off my finger and that's perfect. They do such a great job. I don't know what I would do without my baby wipes because <laughs> I do make a bit of a mess sometimes and uh, they'll just get it straight off without too much problem at all. Okay, so get that bit of gauze over here, stretch it out. You do, I love this stuff because you don't have to keep it square or lengthwise. You can sort of just pull it into a different shape and go with a different shape. So I'll bring this back into vogue here. Okay, you can see that it's not really that melted. And that's, I think, what I struggled with the last one. It was just a little bit too cold. It wasn't hot enough. And I'm going to stir that around just to move it along a little bit faster. But keep in mind, if you want to use the yellowy, uh, not so clear glue sticks, keep in mind that if, you know, yellow and blue make green. So if you're going to use a, a blue uh, palette, for instance, something this colour here, something that colour there with two of these, will actually make this colour. See the difference? <laughs> so I would recommend that if you've got the clean white um, palettes, uh, or glue sticks rather, like the white one instead of the yellow one, which you can see the difference there, then you're going to get a truer colour. But keep in mind, yellow and blue make green. So if you've got a yellowy tinge to your glue, when you finally put it, put a pellet in there of wax, you're going to come up with a different colour. So you can see that this is the purple and the wax uh, in the glue rather. So it has made it beautiful, uh, like a, a vintagey looking perp mauve colour, but very pale. So I'll pop that on there. I've got to come up with a different way of getting my wax out, I think. Uh, Let's see, come on, I'm trying to be able to show you here. <laughs> we'll push it down onto the gauze. So I'll just move that back over. You don't have to use all of the, the glue and wax in the spoon. You can keep some in, just keep in mind your colours. If you want to change your colour, add into that thought the colour that you've just used so that you know that you're going to have a little tinge of that colour in there. Anyway, there we go. Put that down there for a minute. Okay, before I put my seal, I'm just going to pull that out a little bit and I might go with another little piece of lavender on that one. So I'll just pop that there and use the plain on there, press it down. So it's a lot different look to this mauve piece here, as, as you can see when it comes out. Move that aside. I'll just wait a minute for that. Yeah, I'm probably not going to sell these in my shop. I'll probably be more inclined to add them to my journal creations insofar as the tags or 
bits and pieces of pockets that go in any of my journals and the others I'll be giving away to people who purchase things from my shop so they'll get at least one of these in there <laughs> in their envelope so here we go let's try and take it off there you go that came off easy now look at the difference in the color not the same is it so that was the the yellow stick and that made that <laughs> I dare say if it was a white stick, it would have been this colour, okay, because they're clear. This has got the yellow tinge to it. So look, I hope that's been an interesting uh, little demo for you. And I hope you're not sitting in your chair laughing <laughs> like mad because it's so simple. Um, yeah, so if you've got any comments, don't hesitate to comment. Uh, if you feel it's been useful to you, um, give me a tick. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be really nice if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. Um, by the way, for those of you who have watched some of my other videos and, and kept with me till the end, you'll know that at times I've said that I would really love to give up my day job to do this full time. Well, I'll tell you something, it happened. I quit. I quit my nursing job. I've worked as a nurse for, oh my goodness, 20 million years. And I'm, not that I haven't loved it, but more recently I thought, you know what, <laughs> no, enough is enough. I'm just going to um, resign and I'm going to try and boost my website and, and hence the name change of my website because I've, I've put a new website up. I'm trying to pull away from Etsy. They have not been good uh, to me and I know that many of you sell on Etsy and I just feel that, you know, they take too much of our fee, our money um, and drive traffic to themselves instead of to, to our shops. So, yeah, I know that sounds very critical, but um, I'm trying to move away from Etsy. So I've started my own website and, and that's it at um, the w's.journalartpaperies.com. So if you want to have a look at it, that'd be nice. Um, I do have printables and downloadables on there for anyone who goes to my blog and wants to be a member of my my blog, uh, which is on my site. Um, so when people um, join up, they get access to my printables. And um, I do sell some printables, but I've decided to give some away as well. So I do have some and they'll be added to weekly so there'll be a whole pile of printables ready for anyone who wants to join my blog okay so yeah it's been good getting back and I'm hoping that I'm going to be doing some more videos more than I've done in the past and hopefully they'll be useful to you and if there's anything that you want to hear about or something that you've just been dying to learn but you're not sure how you're going to find uh, the subject up on YouTube let me know and I'll see if I can work it out and do a um, video tutorial for you so thank you for staying with me and thank you for watching bye for now